genius is a strange and wonderful thing not only have great artists created the great works of art that have shaped culture and the human experience for centuries they also have interesting insights as to why they do what they do perhaps some of these insights may help spur your own thoughts about art and help you on your own creative journey i present to you the nibuke foundation a visual art and cultural institution that serves as a nexus for art and culture across the country. This particular art or exhibition is titled Look at We. The artists used over 900 yards of synthetic fiber for this particular installation and she is inspired by a process that drains you emotionally, mentally and physically. A process that is hard and seems impossible to complete. But at the same time, it liberates you. Hey guys, this is my first time visiting the Nobuki Foundation. The first time I came here, there was an exhibition by James Bano. I really love this place because of their diverse art and interesting exhibition. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Teresa's works come from a journey of curiosity and exploration. She sees connections between herself and the individuals manipulating the kidnap fibers with their hands twisting, pulling, caressing, shipping into basket front. Her works extend and extrapolate the usefulness of these everyday objects. The African printed kimonos and shirt here. We have some books. We have some books, guys. Take me to your soul.
유럽게 티제 내 자유로운 soul leave me be please 문제가 돈이 나면 I'll be filthy rich Gallery 1957 is a contemporary art gallery located in Accra, Ghana. The gallery intends to present artists of West Africa and the diaspora. This particular exhibition is titled Ghana Tashrog and it's by the artist Francis Annan Afati. His work is derived from a fascination with the unique narratives and experiences of his subject, often his family his friends, and most of times himself. He's inspired by public figures, celebrities, and models who derive their power of expression from their body language. As we stare into their intense eyes, we feel suddenly vulnerable and yet connected to their personal history. It is a history we might never know, nor completely understand. But because of their intense stare, we feel we do. Mm -hmm.